One, two, three. High limit switch protection device open. What causes a high limit switch to open? Lack of airflow. Let's check the indoor fan. Looks like the fan is not spinning. Ooh, it's hard to spin. Checking the power to the fan motor. We got power. Checking the capacitor, dial set to MFD. This capacitor is rated for 10 and 9.66. So it's still got enough juice, but we're gonna replace it. We're gonna replace the fan motor, pulled out the fan housing, and you can see the heat exchanger is in really good shape. This unit is 2007, so wow. Almost 20 years old. Let's put a fan motor on it. Loosen up the set screw. Sand that shaft. A little bit of WD-40. Put your wrench on the shaft, hold the wheel, and break it loose. Seven sixteenths. Shaft, turn it, drops out the bottom. Yes, sir! All right, get your three eighths. Loosen up the belly band. What size motor are we doing? This motor's three quarter horsepower. So we're gonna make sure we put a three quarter horsepower universal motor on there. If you look over here, it says, all speeds can be used, but we need a 20 microfarad capacitor. And this is the motor that we're putting on. That's the number. Let's go! How do we know the motor's bad? Well, you can't even spin this shaft. It is done for. This one? It's good. Let's go put it in. Let's make sure it's spinning the right direction. Yes, it is. Two things left to do. I got my steel brush. I'm gonna clean these burners off before I leave. And then I need to make a strap for these two capacitors. But I got the high speed wire going to the cool terminal, the medium high going to the heat terminal, and then the white is our neutral. You want more videos like this? Go check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. I've got hundreds of videos of live experience as a technician in the field to help you be a better technician.